walk over this piece of bit. I, I want to go to the middle. Are you coming? She's changed her mind. Oh. Oh. You knew that. <laughs> So echoey in here. Yeah, this water's not that deep. It looks really deep, but it's not. It feels like I'm in a little room. It sounds like I'm in a little room when I talk. This is brilliant. I think this whole thing I'm standing on is some sort of, well, it's connected to that down there. And it comes along into the middle. So I'm assuming this sort of is like a, a chimney thing where everything comes out whatever's going on inside I don't know if it goes underground or not but it sounds so cool Ooh. I hope the microphone's picking that up someone's drawn a face on there vacate UFO You know these, these like pillars, I know there's quite a few of them, but for how much brick is up there, it doesn't look like it's strong enough to hold, especially if there's an earthquake or something. They aren't in use anymore. I'm assuming they're still owned by the National Grid and they've got a plant over there and this used to be a part of that plant but it's all closed off now. It's not in use. It smells like, it smells so damp inside here. <laughs> we just literally pulled up on the side of the road. I had to walk up and down and found a little field. We walked across the field and then we found a hole in the fence. We had to go down into some water. Back out of the water it was slippy because it was torrential rain last night and now we are <laughs> we are um, we're in here Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah I think we're gonna go look for it for another one there's another one over there we'll go and look at all of them because they all might have something different about them but we'll see If anyone knows what this thing's for, then please tell me. I have no clue. Um, things there. Some boxes here. Some, Some boxes. Here. Oh, come Imagine like maybe 30 years ago, working on here. People would be standing here and inspecting what's going on. It's starting to rain because I can see the rain coming down inside of the um, chimney. Yeah, some little like, boxes. There. If anyone knows what that is. Though, Please tell me. It's obviously something to do with pumping because that there is a motor. Oh yeah, some electrical boxes. Yeah, I'm not going to touch them. So yeah, well, as I'm saying, there's this one really tall. There's another one just behind this one. You can't really see it on the camera. And there's two more there, and there's another one here. Imagine being here when they like get demolished. Yeah. Imagine being around here when they get demolished. Because yeah. they just like detonate all these at the bottom and the rest are just full. Yeah. Should we go to that one over there? Yeah. I don't think it's 
see that in the background. I suggest that everyone comes here, this is really good. I like things like this. This is my favourite kind of day out. It doesn't cost us anything apart from some fuel. And I don't know, I just find it interesting. It's not every day you get to come to things like this, but if you just spend a little bit of time doing some research, you, you can find places like this and you can go and explore. I mean, we're not hurting anybody, probably ourselves if anything happens, but well, as long as I'm as long, <laughs> as long as I get hurt and not Sylvia, then I don't mind. Let's go. Oh yeah, these two are dry apparently. I think they've been filled in. For whatever reason they've been filled in. It's all hardcore and bricks. So we're gonna go inside and look underneath. All them beams and pillars that are inside is all gone. So you know like, I'll just show you this dead quick. You see like all these, these, you know, that's all that's holding this up now, all the way around. That is it, look, just them, all the way around. Holding that in the air. Oh, if these collapse, then... You don't have a chance. Yeah, you don't really have much of a chance. I mean, that is a lot of weight. A lot of weight to be held on by these. I'm sure these have got, you know, metal rods inside and all that, but... You know, it doesn't stop me going in though. I'm gonna go in. There's a way in. I was gonna jump the fence, but so because there's a way in. This is why I bring you on these adventures because she knows the way in. like some sort of bomb. I don't like the look of that. It looks like a handmade C4 and I just kicked it. Maybe someone was going to try and demolish these. That would have been would have been pretty bad. Not a good idea really but that definitely looks like a little bomb. I've seen a little bomb over there. Really? That looks like it. Anyway. It is slippery. It's like being at the seaside. And uh, yeah, look at that. I don't think it quite shows on the video just how tall these things are. <laughs> you know, it, it looks it looks big, but it doesn't look quite big in real life. You know, these things are massive. sounds sort of weird outside. I'm wondering if these two are like different kinds because yeah there's a little grid thing over here. And I'm wondering if these never had all that inside. Maybe these two are actually different than the other, the other three. Saying that though you've got a lot of bits of concrete in here with metal on the end. Uh, maybe they were at one time. Oh did you hear that? a brick down the floor. I'll do it again. Just listen to the sound it makes. I hope the camera picked it up really well. Listen to this. Sounds like gunshots. Wow. That was the other one. Them two lads. Oh my god, that sounds so weird. The guys outside, they just shouted. It sounds like they're like next to me. And they aren't even inside, look at them, you can see them just there. And they just shouted. And it sounded like they were behind me shouting. That's brilliant. Every footstep I make echoes. somebody over there? I think... That's 
so weird. Sorry, I was just not talking for a minute. So I'm going outside of talking. And when I face them, I can tell that it's them. But when I face away from them over here, I can hear voices over there, like really close. And it's them talking. But it sounds like there's people there. And that is really... Like, I can't even explain how weird that feels. This sounds so weird. We can communicate with aliens in this thing. We can communicate with aliens. having way too much fun with that. That's really good. Springfield power plant. There's a sign over there on the other side and I wonder if it was electric fence. Yeah, that's why. Should I wait on it? Uh I don't think so. Which one are we going to? I don't think we will be we'll go to that one. To our old one. Try it. Which 
walk straight on and see where it comes to. Imagine like something hitting the side of that. Um, I would like to be around it. If they ever like demolish these, I'd like to come and watch it. Just says danger, keep out. Not electric fence. This ground is very uneven. I feel like it. I feel like we're just walking on water, grassy water. Because look, you see that there. There's um little pools of water everywhere and they've got little rubber rings if you can see that I don't know little rubber rings everywhere which means there's a lot of water and what we're walking on I feel like it's like boggy land could be wrong I'm just gonna go look at that water over there I want to see what it's like there's actually steps into it it looks like a swimming pool I'm not gonna go in it though I forgot my shorts I forgot my shorts I've got my swimming trunks Oh it's a bit, it's a bit full to be honest Looks pretty good I don't know how deep that goes there you know It looks, could be deep I don't know a little box over there that looks like a TV Or bird, maybe jump Toilet break, toilet break, I'll see you in a minute. Just while I was having my toilet break, I found this little thing here. It's like, um, yeah, it's electricity coming through there, these things. Electric must run through all this ground. It really must go everywhere. Like, I don't know what was here on this very ground, maybe 30 years ago. Whether these were all buildings or roads, not roads like for anybody, just for the for the company. Because it's a lot of land, look, all this. And then you've got the pylons all leading in from every direction. It's like over there, and then over that way, over that way and beyond, all leading into here. And then they go over there as well. And obviously this is all the national grid, which when you've got like, you know, all your different companies that you, you pay your bills to, well, ultimately, these are the guys that actually get all the power them other companies are who you just pay um, so national grid is is the energy source of, of the country really um, again I don't know what these were what these were for look at that plane you see that plane uh, yeah so I don't know if these were actually buildings here or this was a road and and the, the buildings maybe here or maybe there's no buildings I don't know Maybe all the buildings were over there. No, it's quite interesting. The 
This is like wire from the pylons. I wish the video like really showed you just how big they actually are. They must be what you reckon about 300 feet, 400 feet. Sylvie's gonna Google it. Good old Google. So she's gonna get all the information and we're gonna find out. See this thing. Though. This is a pipe. Oh my god, I thought it was a spider come out of there then. I hate spiders. But yeah. It's uh doesn't really doesn't really do much. Still moves but not much. That's a water, that's water pipe. Whatever that used to be is um, something there. It's like a piece of girder or something. Another one there, they're all flattened. But that's what they are. In fact they are girders because they're dead straight. I'm gonna go over to this one. I'm just gonna have a walk over to this last one now. I think we're gonna go soon. Because you know the we've seen we've seen like three of them now that we've been in. Well this will be the third one. The other one's probably accessible but it'd be the same as that one. And the one over the far end I think is a little bit overgrown. This will be like the first one, but I'm gonna go anyway. Just a little bit overgrown. That's got a hole in. And them things have gone off there. And that wasn't there on the other one either, this thing. And whoever spray painted this, it's got paint everywhere. Oh yeah, be careful. I just tripped over this. That's not good. Can you remember the way back? Swore then. The ground was trying to keep me here. I tripped over some nettles. And again. Yeah, as I was saying, I've got I've got a toothache I've had last two weeks. All my face was hurting the side. I was in a lot of pain. And then it spread to like my teeth. And I had pain in my teeth. I went to the dentist and they told me I've got sensitive teeth, which I already know because I can't really eat ice cream or if I have a milkshake from McDonald's I get I get like pains in my teeth. I'll get I'll show you one last time. All these chimneys. It's two, three, four, and five. Now do you want me to go first? This is our way in. Do you want me to go first? I think I'm going to put the phone away and I'm going to have to help. She's uh, in distress. She can't get out. <laughs> she's making it. She's okay. Look. She's got flat shoes on so she can do it. Then I'll be okay. I'm going to do it with the camera. I'm going to do it with the camera. See this is the easy part. This is the hard part. But honestly if she can do it. If I'm a lot taller than you because look. I can just step up. Yeah, there we go. I'm straight out, no problem. Be quiet now because this is a farmer's field. There's a farm there, and this belongs to somebody. There's a little pot there. Look at the fence there. Shh. Danger, keep out. We shouldn't be in here. We found a way in. Yeah, so I'll carry on telling you about my toothache. 
I got this toothache and it was hurting my, my jaw, aching, and I was in a lot of pain, and I felt like it just needed to crack or something, and then it started spreading to my teeth, up, down, up, down. Every day was different, it'd be the top, then it'd be the bottom. However, it then spread to just one tooth, and I started getting a lot of pain in this tooth, I couldn't eat. I've been eating soup for like a few days, three days maybe and I couldn't really eat anything else. Everything I was eating, I was just swallowing. So if I had some chicken, swallow, gone. Everything whole. So I was enjoying my soup diet. And then I got this pain to one tooth. I went back to the dentist, I had to leave work. I went to him and I said, yeah, it's just this tooth now, it's hurting. And it was going a bit, a bit purple around the tooth. And I'd, I'd bit down on a piece of cucumber and it was like a lot of pain. I've never felt pain really like this before and I went straight back to the dentist and he said, yeah, you've got an infection in your tooth. Uh, I had a filling in that same tooth as well. So yeah, I'm on day three of antibiotics or day two and a half. I've had one today so far. Hopefully it clears up. It's a lot better now. I'm not gonna show you, it doesn't look bad, look. But I'm not gonna show you my teeth because why would I? My teeth don't look bad. They aren't the best though, but I'm not going to show you my teeth, unless you want to see my teeth. If you want to see my teeth, inbox me. <laughs> She's giving me funny looks now. Well, I'm serious, if you want to see my teeth, I'll show you the teeth. The tooth doesn't look bad, but um, the infection's clearing up, so I can come out and make videos again. I'm not in so much pain, and I can talk properly, almost. But yeah, as you can see probably in the background, I hope you can. That's where we've just been. Really enjoyed it. I enjoy things like that. It is starting to rain. So apologies for if I look a bit, a bit rough. I am getting quite wet. The camera's gonna have to go away. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this exploration. This is an old um, power station, whatever you wanna call it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.